Hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out Ravencraft Network. Thank you to the owner for welcoming me onto the server and allowing me to do this video. If you want a server review yourself, please let me know by either commenting on the video or going ahead and contacting me on Discord. To contacting me on Discord is the best way to do it since I can give you a few options and everything, so make sure to contact me over there if you're interested. Alright, so right off the bat what I noticed is you say noodles connected, you don't have any punctuation here, don't know if this is by purpose or anything. I would just make sure you have like an exclamation point or a period or something there. And then you could also get rid of your default purple welcome message thing. Um, so you don't have two of them. Nice little, you have like three welcome messages. So I would get rid of this purple one, but just keep the one for every player and keep the personal one as well. I think those work really well. Um, there's a random block all the way there. Um, not exactly sure why. I'm guessing that's world edit. So I would recommend maybe removing that. Um, that may come in handy. Uh, let me just look around your spawn a little. It looks like you have a very, very nice decorated spawn and everything. Which is great because you kind of want something really decorated and everything. Um, so great job on that. It seems like everything's really nicely decorated around here as well. Um, but very, very nice. Uh, looks really cool. Uh, let me look over here. Maybe make it so this isn't actual water, but it's the, like, the glass type water. Where it's like blue glass with um, water under it or something. Just so... You don't fall into it and slow down so it's just a circle that's pretty cool server information opens it inside of the chat message that's fine what i would recommend doing is maybe put server links so it sends the links and then have server information as like slash help or something um and make slash help send a message or open some type of gui as well um announcements right click faction sales okay i like how you've done that once again i would just say maybe make it a gui where you have the last few announcements up there that would be cool or a book a book would be cool too. Server selector, factions and townies. So you got your typical server selector. And player hide and show is just the default hide and show thing. That's pretty cool as well. Alright, so hub seems pretty well set up other than that floating block up there. Uh, maybe add an option for like speed and hub or double jump or something. That may be cool. Something to give more treasure hunt. Something to give more interaction in the hub. Alright, so you got factions and townie. Uh, 1.7 and 1.8. Okay. Now for Townie, I personally would recommend doing 1.8 through 1.16.1 or just like 1.9 through 1.16.1 just because it's more players play on Townie and stuff on those newer versions rather than all the way back in 1.7, but either way is fine. Uh, Alright, so why don't we go ahead and start with factions and see how that works. All right, we joined the game. Um, one thing I noticed right off the bat when we joined is it says timed rewards here. Same with MCMMO, so those haven't been customized at all. So maybe customize those to be your server name. You also send a vote message and a second welcome message all right when you join the server. So make sure you cut down on those a little bit. Make sure, um, you know, it's just, I, I would cut it down to be more of a clean message when you join only like one message that includes everything if possible that's what i normally recommend for most of the servers i uh, review uh lots of information right off the bat when you join i would recommend putting this over here so you don't block the name of the npcs which are in front of you because if you're standing here they actually block the names of those um so let me put that over there uh nice tournament thing you got pvp zone help menu nice having the server info inside of a GUI like this I would also do this in hub but maybe do it with like your profile and the stats from the different game modes wild is just TP to wild what I would do is I would make that say right click to TP to wild underneath that name that says wild kind of like you have an extra little uh, dot there above this guy's name make this two lines and have the TP to wild button and stuff You've got shop gen buckets tournaments jobs quests custom sets nice so I'm guessing these all open like GUIs and stuff Okay, so one more thing I would recommend doing on all of the servers I review is make these uh, GUIs have the same like colored backgrounds and stuff. That's what Hypixel does and they all their GUIs match and everything and they do that on purpose so you don't have to like, um, so it doesn't like hurt your eyes to change between GUIs or it's a different format when you change between GUIs. A lot of people keep those uh, the same. What I would also do is give a default kit and you probably have a default kit. The exit and next help menu are invalid blocks in here. Um, so I'm guessing you don't give a default kit user kits. Ah, oh, there we go. Starter kit. So maybe make sure you get the starter kit on join. And I also would have put the diamond sword in slot one, pickaxe, axe, then the golden apple in slot and the these in the last slot and automatically 
put the armor onto the player. That's just my suggestion when it comes to kits and everything, but obviously you can do whatever you want, but that would be my suggestion because um, especially when giving kits and stuff, you should just automatically equip them to the player so they don't actually have to worry and put them on or anything. Those are obviously just my suggestions, but um, overall it seems like that's really well set up. Anyway, uh, tournaments, you're miss half of this goes off the line, so just expand the bottom line to, fin to fit the whole thing. You got kill stats, so here's all your stats. I would recommend personally making these all or uh, at least the stats all holograms rather than NPCs. You got bounties, coin flips, very interesting. You got auctions, not sure what this creeper is here. Click me for rewards. So I can actually see the rewards before I actually walk up to it. Uh, daily reward, weekly reward, monthly reward. Uh, you want better rewards, go there. Okay, so I got uncommon keys, mystic keys. So we'll go check out your crates, which are over here anyway. Then next we're dodging the super pickaxe guy. Same with the super mob coin guy. Same thing with the GUIs. Probably make all the GUIs look the same. Uncommon crate, $40,000. Nice. And okay, so this is another thing I recommend doing. Make it so you can quickly open crates. Um, so you can just right click and it will automatically open instantly. And if you want to open another crate, you can instantly do it as well. Uh, thank you for not bouncing us back. That's terrific. Um, I'm guessing these are like mystery vaults or something. Ender chests. Okay, so this is your traditional ender chest. Maybe make a hologram over it that says ender chest or something. Because I don't know if that's like a mystery vault or something because every server has stuff that's different. Uh, and then you just do wild, your normal thing. F create. I'm guessing I can create the development here. Just typical factions. Uh, yes, okay, so it's typical factions. In terms of your tab menu and your um, scoreboard, I would recommend getting rid of that bottom slash SB toggle and adding that to your help menu instead. But overall, it seems like you have it really nicely set up. Maybe put no space between factions in this next blank spot here. Move factions down and leave a blank before, between the top and the bottom rather than the top and bottom, if that makes sense. So get rid of this space, but add a space up here. Um, I think that would look pretty good. But overall, it seems like your factions is well set up. Same thing I say on most servers. You need to probably get a player base for factions. Um, Townie and Survival, it, it's a little bit different. But for factions and stuff, you kind of need a player base for it to be entertaining and uh, actually useful for players. So I would recommend uh, making sure you get a player base on. Because otherwise, it doesn't... Be, like, literally, you can't do anything in factions unless you have a player base. You can't get rating. You can't do any of that. So... Get a player base on for your factions. In terms of your townie, same thing I'm going to say on the other servers. Just cut down on these join messages. You don't need all of them. You can cut them down, uh, make them a little lower. Um, in terms of tab, it seems like I have a blank space before my name. So my rank actually isn't displaying in tab. Um, so I would recommend maybe making it so it does actually show in tab. Or you get rid of the extra blank space in tab. Your store with Discord, website links, and IPs are all up there. What I would recommend doing is I may recommend doing like a... Um, one color for all of those so it doesn't really get too crazy for your boss bar all the way at the top of your screen right here i would slow down the like the different spinning of it so it goes slower rather than all at once uh nice nation leaderboards what i was talking about leaderboards this is exactly what i mean do these leaderboards that are on every single one that looks really really cool um so keep up the good work with that but i would have to say uh crouch on crouch on courts to go to the crates area so I, does that work on any courts because this is a courts but it's not courts um so what i would recommend doing is maybe not having these signs here because it says crouch on courts to go to the crate area this is courts here this is courts here not going to the thing so this can be confusing um so i'd recommend making that rather a uh Teleporter, same thing, nice hub and help menus and everything. Um, same with all of this, you can't do quests yet, you can do wild, you can do warps, but same thing, make all these menus exactly the same. Uh, you have a little invalid block up there on the back ben menu, but stuff like that. Make all the blocks exactly the same in the GUI and stuff. Uh, what is this, community chest? Yeah, community chest, blah, blah, blah. I would make this a hologram and maybe put it out here when you get started. Uh, spawners, you don't have the HD displays above there. I'm guessing this is more of a leaderboard thing. Staff team. Okay, so you have a nice staff team. Uh, nice rotating too. The only thing I don't like about the rotating is sometimes they get turned around like you saw there. Like I could go over here and they're all turned around. But if I move out of their range and then go back to spawn, they'll all be turned around. So maybe keep them in place. I don't know if it's necessary to turn them all around. Just a suggestion. It looks like you have stuff down there. So we're going to go ahead and try to find our way down there. See if we can go ahead and check out what is ever is underneath spawn. Not exactly sure how I get down there. Those may be crates, and it says crouch on courts to get crates, but I can't seem to get there. 
Got stocks. Nice job on the stocks. That's a unique idea. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so I had a double crouch to get down here. And this is your crate zone. So, uh, reach level 50 and a job to get job keys. Uh, so, I did select warp, but it said uh, warp aborted when it tried to teleport me somewhere. I would recommend maybe making it so it doesn't automatically warp if you just type slash warp, but instead you have to it opens that GUI as well. Uh, same thing with these. Uh, very very nice job. The only thing I would recommend possibly doing with this is changing the color of this one, just so it's a little easier to see. And overall, it does seem like you have this really well set up. And then maybe these side ones you turn this way and this way so they don't all face the same way. So they kind of circle the player around because that's kind of what you're going for. But these kind of seem a little off being straight considering to look at them it would be pretty much like this. Uh, so maybe turn those sideways. But otherwise it seems good. I am losing also hunger and spawn so I'd look into that. Make sure you're not losing hunger and spawn. Uh, whoops, I went all the way back to spawn. Uh, make sure you're not losing hunger and spawn because I think that would go well. Same with your playtime on your scoreboard. Playtime doesn't update while you're in game, so maybe make it while you update in game. So it will say rather than leaving and rejoining and seeing your playtime, you can just type slash playtime or something and you can see the exact time. Not exactly sure how you would set that up, but hopefully your plugin does support that. Um, in terms of the rain and stuff, I would also disable it at spawn. There shouldn't be rain at spawn. You could just have a clear, nice spawn area with no rain would be my suggestions. But overall, it seems like you have this really well set up. Same things I was talking about in this video. Try to get a player base on. Try to get more players involved in your server. Um, and I think that will go really, really well. Um, but it seems like you have all the basic systems set up. It's just more of a cosmetic things I've noticed. Um, maybe make some a little bit of a... Uh, Okay, so they, the creepers didn't do damage, but I would do a little bit of a uh, grace period off of leaving in the, um, oh, this is 1.8 like PvP or something. One, oh, I see you have a cooldown. Okay, so it's like newer newer PvP with a uh, older type of support for 1.7. So it's via backwards, most likely. Um, but overall, I would make sure to get rid of that delay. And if you want, I'll allow 1.8 PvP because um, that come, sometimes doesn't come in handy. And it sometimes gets pretty annoying. But overall, very nice job on your server. Keep working on it. Just keep working, get players on, and I'll come back and check it out in the future if you still want me to. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for inviting me, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.